Howdy YouTube, this is Rock, and on this edition of Heroes of the Storm, we're going to be doing the gameplay of Ghoul Dan. Stick to the end of the video to see how many people I can catch in my corruption. Peace. Alright, so for our first game today, we have the Tomb of the Spider Queen. So on the friendly side, we obviously have, we have me as Gul'dan, we have Lunara, Brightwing, Diablo, and Vala. Interesting comp. Uh, we have a support, but no real the good healer. We have Brightwing. But anyway, on the enemy side, we have Lieutenant Morales, Rainer, we have Tyrael, Gul'dan, and Rhaegar. I don't know how I feel about uh, our team compared to theirs, but... If you've never been on the Tomb of the Spider Queen, what's going to happen is uh, you the back line of each uh, wave of minions is going to have these spiders. You just kill those spiders and they're going to drop these little gems. And you collect up the gems and put them in this depository, I guess you'd call it, or whatever. Um, and if you collect enough gems, which changes every time you put gems in, the next set of gems you need more. Um, once you put in enough gems, then the spider is going to uh, spawn in each lane and help you push those lanes all three at the same time um, so let's see how we do here howdy y'all so level one like we were talking about in the previous video I'm gonna go with echoed corruption and let's see I'm gonna come down here with Vala how's that that works pretty well so they made a change in the maps. If you look at the mini maps, they actually have these little plus symbols next to the towers now. That indicates that there is still a healing fountain um, there in that lane, uh, or next to that tower. Um, so that's a change to the interface that they did. Um, I don't know if anybody really caught that in the patch notes or not, but I thought that was kind of interesting. Makes it easier to know if there's still a healing fountain there for you. And there's Tyrael. I'm not sure why we're all down here, but okay. Okay, well I'm not sure why we are so focused on this lane here, to tell you the truth. But you know what? If they want to do that, then that's fine with me, because that'll just mean that I'm just going to be able to keep building those stacks up. I'm going to get some mana back here. Let's just take a sippy cup here and top off a little bit.
What am I up to? I'm already 15 stacks. This is wonderful. So level four, we're gonna go with Consume Soul. Do that now, actually. Get some healing in there. Twenty stacks on our abilities already. Nice. Consume Soul. Just go back to the sippy cup and top off. Continue to serve me. I don't know why everybody was so focused on twenty three stacks. Nice. Twenty-eight. Six minutes in and I'm already almost done with that 30 stack. Alright, so level 7 here. We're going to go with Bound by Shadow. So we're going to get the cooldown down much quicker now. Heal up a little bit.
wanted the wrong game. Reclaim the gems of my power. All right. So that was a little interesting there. They seem to really be focusing. Well, if nobody's coming down here, I'm just going to keep pushing this here. And heal a little bit. Suck it up. Yeah, like I said, if nobody's going to continue pushing here. Just gonna continue pushing. Let's get out of here. I think that push was really good. So level 13, we're going to go with Harvest Life. Now since nobody really seems to be down here, I'm going to see if I can take this camp. Not sure how well I am at taking camps here, but I'm gonna try. I expect no less than total victory. I will not be denied. And I'm low, so I'm gonna come out here, heal up. Steal a minion.
And I'm gonna go back because I am a little low for that. Alright, so we're gonna get the Ruinous Affliction. Let's get up here and push with these guys. Slowed, I couldn't get away. Well, I'm liking this game so far. How is this one? Nobody's doing anything with this one down here. She's pushing pretty good. Level 20, Demonic Circle. And as soon as I go back to a... I think I'm gonna set my demonic circle here. Mm. 
No. <laughs> oh, Goldan got me. <laughs> What? Did it, does that go away when I die? Uh, I hit my button, but it didn't let me teleport back. Hmm. Well, that's good to know. It's good to know that my demonic circle goes away when I die. Put my demonic circle right there. I will not be denied. Oh, 
Alright, I think we might actually win this one. Wow! Well that turned out to be a good one. I definitely like Gul'dan. He, you have to watch him a little bit because you can easily go through mana and then through health pretty well. But it was good to learn actually that your demonic circle goes away after you die. So you have to replace it after you die. Learning experience. <laughs> um, let's see how we did. I don't even know how we did. Wow, look at that. 95,000 siege. Um, I assisted in 18 kills. I only killed one myself. I only died three times. That's nice. Um, wow, that was really good. 63,000 hero. I think that was pretty good for my first time through. Um, so, uh, just in case you want to go over, uh, if you didn't see my first video, this is the build that I went with. I went with Echoed Corruption. Uh, consume soul, bound by shadows, horrify, harvest life, uh, ruinous affliction, and a demonic circle. Note to self, demonic circle, need to replace after you die. Because uh, I died, and I hadn't replaced it, and I tried to use it, and it wouldn't let me, and I died again. But anyway, that, I was really... Uh, happy with Gul'dan. He takes a little bit of concentration with him because you really have to be watching your mana and your health at the same time and remember to try to life tap and and steal life and all those lovely things. But otherwise, he is really fun to play. Um, and I feel like I was doing, you know, a good amount of damage with him. And that wraps up another video. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And leave a comment below for any heroes you'd like to see or builds you want me to try out. I read them all. If you want to know when my new content comes out, subscribe and stalk me on social media. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the Nexus.